Hey guys, not so quick look ahead at the events of the week to come starting the week of December 22nd. This is the Christmas event and it honestly looks kind of amazing, but really, really complicated based on all that text over there. So let me hop into it and try to get through this as expediently as I can. Okay, so first we're going to start off with keys for Satorio. Uh, he looks really good on paper, but possibly slow. But if he doesn't get stopped too hard by crowd control, he might be like ridiculously strong, able to hold off entire teams on his own. Unknown, we'll have to see him in action. Uh, hero summon is for Veg. Up hero is also for Satorio. And this is the Heaven and Hell style, so there is only one copy per round of keys. Whereas in um, non-Heaven and Hell, there are two copies per round of keys. But in this case, there is not. There's Hero Awakening for Satorio. There's no more free copies until T5 purple. Green, I always forget. Um, so don't worry too much on just leveling him up halfway because you're not going to get anything impressive. There's Hero Trial for a free 5 star as usual. Nothing amazing there. And that's... Oh, and also there is Valhalla. So the way that this works is for every 10 or for every 1000 keys you pull, you can trade one copy of a hero for for uh, for a Satorio. So these are the three you can use Koshka, Malorn, Jet. Don't use Koshka. Use Jet or Malorn. And if you want more, you can get them here. So for every 500 keys you pull, you get five. So for a thousand keys, you get 10. We're probably going to be pulling 2,500 keys, so you're going to get 25 of these points, and that'll let you trade two copies for an extra Satorios. So if you pull five rounds of keys, you're getting, what, 11 copies, plus two more from here. That's 13 copies already. That is enough to max him out when he comes in Miracle Eyes in uh, six weeks or so. So, pretty or not six weeks, two weeks. Uh, so it could be pretty interesting. All right, that is it for regular events. Let me, uh, let me kill this guy. I know I should have gotten gems, but whatever. I'm in a hurry. All right, this is the Christmas event. It is really, really widespread. Okay, so the ornaments that we got from the um, from buying stockings during the, the our current week, it turns out that they are idle currency this week, and you don't really need them they're helpful but it's going to be really hard to calculate like how many they were you really need so you use them in here you trade 100 or a thousand at a time and you get these tickets or well you can see them there actually where is it i always lose it here you get these tickets and so before I go into what the shop is, let's go into the sources of these tickets and everything. Uh, it's looking really good. So as you trade them in, you get all this stuff. There's cubes, there's a diamond key, there's a Brin copy, there is a cosmic crystal. And teaser, we might reach that for free. So let's get into this. So this is, oh, oh, this is daily quests for more. Or not daily, one, two... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, well, I didn't put this into the thing because I missed this one, but it's about 100, and we you probably won't get all of it. So let's say 50. 50 doesn't even matter. Okay, so this is Snowball Fight, and the way this works is you get two of these snowballs every day, and this is the thing where you have to stop the meter in the center. So if you stop it in the center, you get 100 ornaments plus 4 progress points. You can see the progress points down here. So you will need to get perfect on, I believe, six, 12 out of 14 tries? No. Um, 16 out of 14... 11 out of 14 tries. I don't know. 10 or 11 out of 14 tries, you'll need to get perfect. Otherwise, you will not reach this final reward. And if you fail it, you'll have to probably buy them. So here, let's do it. The key is to start a little bit early. If you stop a little bit early, you can see I got perfect every time. And so you'll get two of those tries every day. That that is 16 points. 7 days times 16 points is 112. So you'll need to be really, really on top of it to get perfect score on this one. 
If you get perfect, that's 1,400 ornaments. And if you get all of these, this is another 2,500 ornaments. So that's a lot. And uh, I originally thought these were purchase only, but yeah, you get them for free, so it's pretty nice. Next, we have dice. Dice typically costs around 7,500 to 8,000 gems to finish. Uh, these dice do not reset. This is a different die than we've used in previous events. You can buy them for 150 gems each. As you go around, you'll get the progress. The progress meter has another 1,300 ornaments, but it also has the Christmas Sigurd skin. Now, the Christmas Sigurd skin is most likely a red skin. So you can choose to get him to break him to break it down and get the uh, where is it called? Oh, where is it? Is it this one? Here, do, 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 do. where are you? Where are you? Oh, is it yellow? Oh, it's yellow. Okay, never mind. It is a yellow skin, so you, you will not be able to break it down for red skin shards. Only yellow skin shards. So up to you if you bother going this far, you don't have to, but by the point that you're already at this point, it doesn't cost a lot to finish, so up to you. It's just nice to have. This is, you'll only be able to get this during Christmas. They may or may not ever bring this back again. They brought back the Olivia one once, and clearly they didn't bring back the Vivienne one this year, so, you know, if you're a collector, it's up to you. Next, we have Christmas Goblin Slayer. I haven't tried this yet. You get one scroll in the mail per day before fighting it. Let me show you. So you get 100 ornaments for fighting it per day, but you also get one-time rewards based on your progress. If you can score 10 million or 10 billion damage, you can get up to 180. Realistically, a lot of people will probably be stuck around here, so like 140-ish. But that's this is a one-time reward, so it's uh, not as important as like regularly using your hits. So you do get seven of these for free, along with some more a little bit later. So next is this. So every eight hours, you click this, and it gives you three of these at random. If you trade any three of them, you have a 50% chance to succeed, which should give you 300, or a 50% chance to fail, which should give you just 50. If you trade four of them, you have a 75% chance to succeed, which I think is 400, and then the, the fail is 50. If you trade all five, you get 500, but the fail is 50. The, uh, but because it's random which ones you get, realistically, you may not be able to trade in five nonstop. So seven days times three of these refreshes per day is 21. That's 21 times three is 60 something, 63. So realistically, it could be a max of 12 re trade ins at five, but you're likely going to get more like eight or nine. So I counted it as like 4,500 because you'll probably have to trade at lower amounts. So that is a lot of tickets. Uh, I did it one time. I got three random things. I traded in. I failed. I got 50. So really, I can't show off anything more than that. Next, we have secret treasure. Now, this is funny because the secret treasure gives you these uh, scrolls instead of currency, but you can just use them in the goblin, so they're basically worth 100 currency each. This seems to be their workaround instead of giving free currency, so I don't know. But it is skulled, so this is definitely going to be buying at least the top three and skulled. This is a, looking to be a very expensive event because you're looking at like 8,000 gems for dice, you're looking at another 14,000 gems for for skulls, so a minimum of 22,000 gems. Whew. All right, finally, this is double VIP. This is the shop, and that's it. So here is the shop. For 100, you get the top artifacts. For 90, you get the second tier artifacts. For, for uh, 80, you get these junk artifacts. 90 also gives you a chance at this chest, which is a heaven and hell chest, including Satorio. And 60 gives you an elite chest with Koshka, so this is a nice filler too. And then all the rest of this junk. So, general math, you'll see that I started with 1700 because I bought a bunch of the stockings, but 
general math is going to be you get about 140 per day for idle you get oops you get 900 nine scrolls from the goblin slayer or from secret treasure you get 1300 from dice you get one scroll daily from login you get trades let's say 4500 perfect if you do the snowball perfectly that's 2500 ornaments plus 1400 so that's 3900 realistically if you do everything perfectly that's over 120 that is over 120 that's enough to reach this for free and 120 with a 5% chance of, of um, extra is another 6 126 so really it looks like almost anybody can reach the top artifacts for free so um, Man, this is going to be interesting. All right. Well, that is it. Good luck to us all. Hopefully, uh, we all get something good out of this. Let's go into the next teaser before I forget. New Year event with more free stuff. Miracle. What? Okay. Because everything is out of order, miracle, next miracle is Kashka. So maybe the one after that will be Satorio. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what they do with this. And then heroic runes for Th oh Themis fell too that hurts, poor Themis she fell to miracle runes tier. Okay, that is all for this week. See you guys next time.